What's up? It's your boy Carcino here. And a lot of people have been asking me to talk about this. And I was blowing it off because I was either busy or making another video. They was, what's up, man? Tell us the beef between Randy Moss and uh, Chetty Shaw. Well, it's like this. Shannon Sharp is probably, at the time, was one of the greatest receiving tight ends there ever was in the game. Um, many people criticized his actual his actual blocking. But Shannon Sharp was more of a wide receiver and actually started off as a wide receiver before he became a uh, full-fledged tight end. And finally, you know, he just had enough of Shannon Sharp. Randy Moss did, but we're going to get there. Shannon... Shannon Sharp was one of the best tight ends to do it. He always played like he had a chip on his shoulder, like everyone was doubting him. And I think that's what motivated him, is that he always felt like they think I'm better. So I got to keep proving. I got to prove something to somebody. And that's how he always played the game. Now, his statistics show he's first ballot Hall of Fame. Completely. First ballot, Hall of Fame. He's glad he was there, but he also wanted to be first ballot, Hall of Fame. But NFL player Shannon and radio Shannon are two different people. You know, Shannon is, they're entertaining the crowd. So there's no real malice towards Randy, but there's a way he do things and handle things that kind of would make it seem as if he was jealous of Randy Moss. Now, he has some very condescending things to say to Randy Moss during the uh, the broadcast, whenever they was mentioning Terrell Owens, they bring Randy Moss' name up. Whatever Randy Moss did had nothing to do with T.O. case for his bid to be in the Hall of Fame. He got his stats already. He got his numbers. So there's no more stat or number that T.O. need to add to get him into the Hall. So why do you got to bring down Randy Moss to try to big up Terrell Owens? And he, and he would always do it. Don't forget Randy Moss now. Randy Moss smacked the girl. Randy Moss, I mean, he tried to run a girl over with a car. And, and it was like, it was like, what? He came out at Shannon Sharp and it's like, man, over the years, this guy has seen to be taking shots at me more and more every time. Now, Randy Moss shook up the NFL when he came in the league from day one. Shook the NFL up. He changed the league. Shannon Sharp was great, but Shannon Sharp didn't really change the league. No one changed. They, no one said, man, this 84 guy you know, there's a, we can't do nothing about him ever. He didn't change the league. Like I said, good player, but did not change a league. Very good tight end, work ethic, everything. Shannon Sharp is it. Randy Moss was just gifted, God gifted in every aspect a wide receiver could ever dream. Hands, speed, jumping ability, knowledge of the game. He knows just as much, if not more,
than Shannon Sharp about positioning everything. But for some reason, Shannon Sharp keeps tearing and tearing down Randy Moss, bringing up all his off the field troubles and everything else and talk about him all the time in a negative light. So Randy Moss, on the 12th, he put it out on Twitter. He was like, do you have a problem with me? Every time you mention me, it's always negative. I'm trying to live in peace, but it seems like since you have a national spotlight, you always bash it. What do you get out of that? I don't have your number. And I'm not here for the trolls, but if you do, please link or let me know Like if there's like a problem. So Shannon Shaw responded back about 10 minutes later. If you want to discuss anything with me, you can easily get my contact info since we, we know some of the same people. Now, we remember that he had a similar incident with his friend, uh, Ray Lewis. Even though they come to an understanding, him and Ray have not been quite the same since. They still brothers, but they still not quite the same. See, most of y'all believe that Shannon Shaw, his country self was born here in Chicago. He's a southern boy, but he was born up here in Chicago. And when he took shots at Ray Lewis, it made him famous. Because when he came in here, the whole Copernic thing was just getting off. So when they started the show Undisputed, that's what they started with. And it built Shannon Sharp's whole whole aura for people who never knew what he was. So Shannon Sharp and Randy Moss got on the phone. Two days later, they met up on the tele, got a phone call, and this is basically how it went. Shannon Sharp said, I provided context into why I mentioned his name yesterday on the show, and I believe misunderstandings and disagreements can be handled through civil conversation. So Randy Moss went on Twitter to say, I'm so glad real men can talk it out. Glad we talked, and thank you. So now whatever it was that they spoke about, they seem to have clarity about what's going on. And I'm quite sure he probably told him, I was just using it in comparison to what went down with the, uh, with the, uh, you know, the show. Now, despite T.O., they really wanted to put Randy Moss in first ballot just to know that was another blow to T.O. And that's what Shannon Shaw was really talking about. But like Randy Moss getting in on the first try, you know, and T.O. still mad about the fact and smarting over the fact that Randy got in on the first try and he didn't. And Shannon Sharp was another person who's jealous of that because he's another person who felt he should have got in on the first try. But overall, he's like, look, I got in. That's all that mattered. I didn't get in my first two years, but I got in on my third. You see, he had a good reason. He wanted to get in there because he wanted his grandmother to be alive to see that happen. But when he got the announcement, he was able to tell his grandma she died a month before the actual ceremony. So she didn't get a chance to witness it because she was too sick.
So, anyway. Shannon Sharp has always talked about Randy Moss because he was always jealous of Randy Moss. He was more a T.O. guy than a Randy Moss guy. And for some reason, people love to make those two comparisons. Randy Moss changed the game of football. Terrell Lawrence was a good football player. You know, that was it. He was exceptional at what he did. He's a workhorse. He worked really hard. Randy was naturally God-gifted <laughs> abilities that changed this game forever. He is first ballot. You're talking about the best wide receiver in the world when you talk about Randy Moss. Period. So they don't like that. They some bitter people. In the past, I remember, uh, what was that? Uh, I think he decided to target him for daring to mention the fact that Shannon Sharp and, and Moss, they was doing some publicity battle or something on Twitter. And he was like, uh, something like, Shannon Sharp called him an F boy. He's like, I still don't know what that means. I feel I have a feeling it's an insult. <laughs> but Shannon Sharp and Moss will be talking at the Hall of Fame ceremony down there. And there'll be no hard feelings. They'll talk it out. And and since they talked everything out, things should go over a lot smoother. between the two so they shouldn't have any issues now as he keeps taking shots at randy moss for no reason and randy hasn't done anything randy has actually been outstanding he used to work for fox then he went to espn went got a raise and actually done really well worked a couple of super bowls randy moss is he i mean people don't understand is that randy moss knows everything about football x and o's he could actually coach the game. He's really intelligent when it comes to the game of football. And that's what shocked a lot of the coaches because if you looked at his character, you just thought this is just a guy who just knew the offense and knew a couple of sets. He knows what every defensive set is three seconds after they line up. He knows exactly what they're going to run, where somebody should be, and how to recognize the switches and change. I mean, Randy is intelligent. If you listen to him, ever on ESPN or listen to him dissect the game, he'll tell you exactly what's going to happen. To be honest, there has not been a, a wide receiver to have a year like Randy Moss when he was with New England. Period. There hasn't been a player, period, to do that. And when Randy Moss was on that podium, when he played for the 49ers, and Randy Moss was on the field, and they had the freak out there, and, and they had him on the podium, and he said he was the best wide receiver. It, it ticked off Jim Harbaugh so much, he wouldn't even call Randy Moss's number for any pass plays or nothing. He did not want Randy Moss to go out there and draw any more attention on the 49ers and all this stuff. He really worked, warped himself into a frenzy. And Kaepernick blew the dog on Super Bowl because he played like crap the entire game overthrowing people. I'm like, he got freak wide open in the end zone. He just threw the ball away because he couldn't make any touch passes. It's got to be right at the receivers. And you screwed up freak Super Bowl. But I don't want to go into that. I'll be here all night. But they squashed the beef, and that's all that counts. 
but Shannon's got to stop making things personal. You know, he gets too sucked into the entertainment and the show part of it, and that's going to end up ruining his friendship with people that he had in the past. Because, like I said, him and Ray Lewis don't talk like that no more. Because Ray Lewis know, okay, Shannon got a show. So I really can't talk to Shannon that way. We talk, there's nothing about anything about this. We just talk, you know, about family and other stuff. Stuff that's not show worthy. You know, they they can't have those conversations no more because Shannon is doing a show. So I just wish it never came down to where, you know, Randy would have to address it. Shannon shouldn't even have let it go that far. He should have known he was doing too much. And it seems to be really vindictive. And it sounded as if T.O. was talking through him. You know, and T.O. and Randy, they don't have any problems. But, you know, he rooted for T.O. to get into the hall. You know, they had no problems, but... He believes he's better than Randy, and Randy knows he's the best in the world, so that's just how it is. Everybody retired, so just let it go. Just three Hall of Famers should not be having an, an argument at any about anything. What, what could the argument actually be? Was Randy Moss not the best in the world <laughs> when he did it? I mean, come on, let's be serious. I'm out.